Hello, I'm Dr. Shirley Disler, author of the Brick Math Series, here today to share with you an activity from Teaching Multiplication Using Lego Bricks and the Student Companion Book, Learning Multiplication Using the Lego Brick. Today, we are going to investigate Finding Factors, which is Chapter 1, found on page 9 in the Multiplication Book. Today, we're going to um, investigate why this is important for students as they begin to learn about multiplication and the parts of multiplication sentences. In this particular lesson, students learn the meaning of the terms factors. They learn how factors um, can be used for least common multiple, greatest common factor. And they also begin to build a repertoire of understanding and memorizing fact families. So let's get started. First, in the um, Show Them How, which is the first part of each chapter, and Show Them How, you as the teacher will do a couple problems with the students. So this first student asks you to find a 2 by 8 brick. Now, Lego identifies their bricks by 2 studs, short side, by 8 studs, long side. So we're going to take that 2 by 8 brick, and we're going to place it on the base plate, flush to the side. I'm going to ask students, how many studs do you count using uh, this brick? And students would begin, and they would use one-to-one -one correspondence from kindergarten, first and second grade. And they would simply count one, two, three, four, all the way down to eight, and then the second column, giving them 16 total studs. Now, if students have done a raise with this, they understand that this is two uh, sets of eight, which is also 16. I would then ask students, if you can find two bricks of the same width, cross this way, two stud, two, two by bricks, um, to place next to this one without any edges hanging over. Now we would expect students to do that with two two by four bricks, like such. So that now we would say this is one brick times 16 studs is equivalent to 16, or one times 16 is 16. This is two bricks times eight studs, or two times eight is 16. I would then ask students, can you find three bricks? Now, ultimately they cannot do that because three is not a factor of 16, but I would allow the students to grapple with that idea a bit. Then I would ask them for four bricks, and they would continue the process by placing four two by two bricks onto the model. And now we have four bricks times four studs on each brick is equivalent to 16. Throughout this process, we would continue until we have all of the factors for 16, as you see in this completed model. So I would take the students then through the model one brick times 16 studs, one times 16 is 16. Two bricks times 16 studs, two times eight is 16. Four bricks times four studs would be four times four is 16. Eight bricks, two studs per brick, be eight times two is 16. And then you have your 16 one by ones, and that would be uh, 16 bricks times one stud, or 16 times 1 is 16. So this is how we find factors using the Lego brick. The rest of the chapter allows students to uh, explore other problems on their own, and then in their learning book they can follow along and they can draw factors such as I've done here in my book. And you can use that to assess the student learning along the way. I hope you've enjoyed chapter 1 of Teaching Multiplication Using the Lego brick, and have a wonderful day.